Hi, my name is Kate Reed Petty, and for this International Women's Day, I wanted to introduce my debut novel because it's a book about women and men and about the politics of storytelling. So when I was in college in 2006, there was a spike in sexual assaults reported on campus, and there was also a really toxic debate about how many of those accusations were real. The worst was the morning we all woke up and there were flyers all over campus, naming one of the victims, threatening her life, saying, I know what you did last semester, care to revise your statement. And I was so angry, I remember being so furious that somebody would call the victim a liar, and I wanted to argue with this person, convince them how wrong they were. In a way, my first novel, True Story, is my attempt at that argument. It's the product of me thinking for a decade about how two people can hear the same story and reach fundamentally different conclusions about it. So the book starts with the story of a sexual assault at a suburban high school in the late 90s. It's a story that then radiates through the lives of four characters for the next 15 years. And the book, as it goes, switches style and genre, which it does because it mirrors the way that stories about sexual assault get pieced together and judged and misjudged in public narratives. The genre play did also let me steal some tricks from my favorite genre books, which I did to make True Story a page turner because I wanted to reach people who wouldn't necessarily pick up a feminist book otherwise. But the most important thing that the genre play in this book is doing is it's a way of thinking about how storytelling shapes our identities. You know, what, what kind of story is each of us expected to tell? And how does that shape who gets listened to and who gets shut out? So I've been, I've been working on this book for about five years, and every time I tell somebody what it's about, they almost always say, that is so timely. And it's true, it was timely on my college campus in 2006, just as it's timely today. This issue is depressingly always timely, it seems. But I hope that True Story offers every reader a new way of thinking about these issues and about how we might jailbreak our way out of these same old stories and all of us speak for ourselves. Thank you so much.